Hey, if anybody has any last minute uh, gift ideas. Season's greetings, and welcome to the Film School. I'm Joe, and uh, yeah, we're going to talk about National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation for a moment. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 After vacationing across America and throughout Europe, take it, Russ. This holiday season, the Griswolds are going to play it safe. They're staying at home. I give you the Griswold family Christmas tree. Hope you're not getting sap all over your sweater, Clark. All Clark wants is a quiet, old-fashioned Christmas. Sorry. Got a little knot here. You work on that. What he's going to get is the gift that keeps on living. Merry Christmas. His family. We didn't come to impose. <laughs> oh, hell, there's plenty of room. Do you sleep with your brother? Do you know how sick and twisted that is, Mom? Well, I'm sleeping with your father. Have you got a kiss for me? <laughs> eh, you'd better take a rain check on that, Art. He's got a lip fungus they ain't identified yet. But no holiday could ever be more deeply touching. We were gonna call, but... Eddie wanted to make it a surprise. If I woke up tomorrow with my head sewn to the carpet, I wouldn't be more surprised than I am right now. <laughs> ah, I'm really gonna fly down the hill with this stuff. So genuinely moving. Can I refill your eggnog for you? Drive you out to the middle of nowhere, leave you for dead. More truly uplifting. Can I show you something? I was just blouse browsing. Or more down to earth. If Santa is smart, he'll stay well clear of this joint. It's a death trap. <laughs> then Christmas with the Griswolds. Everybody come out quick, look at the lights! They want you to say grace. I pledge allegiance to the flag. <laughs> States of America. This year, let Chevy Chase light up your holidays. <laughs> National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That thing had nine lives. She just spent them all. <laughs> you woo, crack up. Man, I love that movie. It has to be one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. I'm a bit of a sucker for Christmas. And I'm a bit of a cynic, too. Kind of a mixed bag. And there's a lot of Christmas movies I'm not a fan of. Uh, Prancer. Eh, not going to watch it. Christmas with the Cranks? Probably not. Santa Claus? Yeah, maybe, but not Santa Claus too. And definitely no Santa Claus the movie. Sorry. No, no offense to, to the late Dudley Moore or to the great John Lithgow. No. But I will do Christmas Vacation. Uh, which, to me is sort of uh, along the lines, uh, or for me, one of the all-time Christmas classics right up there with Scrooge. Scrooge is another one. Yeah, I can't go wrong with that. A very Harold and Kumar Christmas. That's another favorite of mine. Um, geez, you know, oddly enough, I like White Christmas, too. We're going to press on, and we're going to have the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny fucking K. No, I saw this on the big screen 30 years ago, and I've pretty much watched it every Christmas Eve since uh, with my with my family, and so I've seen it at least 30 times. But I know I've seen it more than that, uh, and I got a chance to see it on the big screen uh, just here the last week uh, as part of uh, one of the Cinemarks uh, locally doing a 30th anniversary screening. So that was a lot of fun, uh, and even though I know this movie inside and out and at this point i don't even think this is a spoiler review so we won't have to pull out the spoiler wizard or anything i know you appreciate that producer appreciates that so that uh because i mean if you haven't seen the movie by now i'm sorry it's 30 years so spoilers and also if you haven't seen this movie uh you're you're probably either just uh um, slap the shit right out of it i'm just saying if you're into christmas and christmas movies this is a classic um one of the last really good movies with Chevy Chase in the, in the lead. Um, and 
no disrespect, he just the man hasn't had a whole lot of films come his way that have, have lived up to the Vacation and Fletch movies and Spies Like Us and a lot of stuff he was doing in the 70s and 80s. Oh, Heavenly Dog, Modern Problems. Like, these are all good movies. But, uh, yeah, uh, Cops and Robertsons was not one of them. But Christmas Vacation, uh, I love that. It's it's, it's really an uh, interesting blend of cast because uh, aside from uh, Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo, you've got a really young Juliette Lewis and Johnny Galecki. Of course, Randy Quaid is Cousin Eddie, who sort of steals the, the thunder. I think we can all agree he steals the thunder in this movie. Got the best lines by far. Julie Louis-Dreyfus, pre-Seinfeld, post-SNL. Um, the late William Hickey, uh, Diane Ladd. Uh, which is weird because Diane Ladd the very next year would pop up in uh, David Lynch's Wild at Heart with her, her daughter Laura Dern and both films were scored by Angelo Badalamente. That's a weird connection. David Lynch and Christmas Vacation. Weird to think, right? John Hughes, David Lynch? How are those two related? Anyways, uh, if you get a chance, if one of your local Cinemarks is playing this on the big screen, it's totally worth seeing. Um, I don't think, it, with as many times as I've seen it, that I caught anything new this time around. But just the experience of seeing it on the big screen again uh, is, is really nice. Because actually it's a fairly fairly well shot uh, comedy. Oh yeah, Brian Dole Murray. I always forget, Brian Dole Murray's in this thing too. Is Mr. Shirley. God, I love that guy. Um, if you don't know who he is, is Bill Murray's older brother, and he's in a lot of his movies with him. Scrooge, Caddyshack, um, Ghostbusters, the list just goes on and on and on. But anyways, uh, I have to say for my personal love of this movie, uh, I, I still get, it's a three-star comedy. We're not going to go four stars because this is not a work of art by any means. It's it's a hilarious, uh, slightly irreverent, holiday-themed Christmas movie. It's the type of movie that maybe if you're, you know, forced to watch a Christmas movie, you can watch without, you know, wanting to slap the television or whoever put on the Hallmark Christmas movie. Like, it's, it's not sentimental. It's slightly, uh, slightly sentimental. Or maybe it's not sentimental, but it has sentiment in it. I don't know. But it's, uh, it's definitely my kind of Christmas movie. Uh, one of the all-time greats. So I salute 30 years bringing me many many enjoyable christmas eves and hopefully many more to come and uh thanks for watching uh like and subscribe as always we really appreciate that um we plan on having some some good episodes coming up here soon uh before the end of the year and then we've got some good stuff happening in 2020 so we'll see you soon Merry Christmas!